Hello everyone, it's me, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyo, Teacher Elang Lincoln. Are you looking for a good app for your online presentation or online demo teaching? You want to show your face and share some slides at the same time. Well, you clicked the right video. But before that, gusto ko lang pong i-share na ang channel natin ay nakareach na ng 500 subscribers. Yay! Milestone na po iyan para sa atin. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Because here in our channel, we publish relevant and informative videos. So make sure to keep updated. And also, please do not forget to like our page. It's Ticharela Diaries for more announcements and posts. Today, we will talk about one of the best apps that I could personally recommend to you. Proven! Because I've used this app a million times already. So, maraming beses ko na po siya nagamit. And I would say na ang ganda niya po gamitin. Talagang maganda siyang application for online presentation and online teaching. I will teach you how to navigate the app, how to use the teaching tools, and how to maximize it for your online presentation and demo teaching. Ituturo ko po sa inyo yung mga functions na kailangan yung malaman. At kung gusto niyo pang matutunan ang lahat ng yan, please keep on watching. Alam nyo, talagang napaka-hardworking ng mga Pinoy. Kasi kahit merong crisis right now, talagang naghahanap pa rin tayo ng mga paraan para maging effective ang ating presentation or demonstration. May friend ako na nag-message sa akin kung meron ba daw akong alam na app na pwede niyang gamitin for his online presentation as a post-grad student. And meron din pong isang teacher ang nag-request nitong content na ito. Kaya ito na po and let's get started! Ang tawag sa app na ito ay Class In. I discovered this app when I was still in my former online teaching company. So, ito po yung app na ginagamit namin doon sa pagtuturo ng mga foreigners. So, ito po yung aming teaching tool. Using this app, you can show your face and share your file simultaneously. O, di ba? Kung ka po yan. Kung matatandaan nyo po, doon po sa ating previous teacher training series, which is, by the way, naka 1,000 views na. Yay! I discussed the process of making lesson videos. So, ikaw lang yon. I-re-record mo lang yung sarili mo. Wala tayong pinag-usapan doon na paggamit ng PowerPoint presentation or pag-share ng files. But here, using Class In, pwede na. So, Teacher Jelly, how is Class In different from other applications like Zoom or Skype? Well, sa Zoom and Skype, as you all know, you can share screen. Ibig sabihin, pwede mong i-share sa kausap mo kung ano ang nabuview mo sa iyong screen. Kaya nga, share screen ang tawag. That's good! Pwede na po yung gamitin for your online demonstration or online presentation. But in Class In, you have lots of teaching tools that you can maximize for your presentation. Yung tipong para ka talagang may blackboard na sinusulatan sa iyong klase. So now, I'll be showing you how to use it. Okay, so the first step is for you to download Class In on your computer. So, meron pong available na application for Windows, like ko ano gamit ko, and for uh, MacBook. So, after downloading the app, you proceed to making your own account para po magamit niyo po yung application. It's just like the other applications wherein you need to sign up. So, after signing up, you proceed to opening the application. Let's say nakapag-login ka na. Ganito na po yung itsura na makikita nyo sa inyong computer. Um, as you can see, may mga classes na po dyan dahil ito nga po yung ginamit ko dun sa previous job ko. So, disregard nyo na lang po yan. Ito po yung mga dati kong klase. Anyway, uh, proceed po tayo dito sa may bandang iba pa. So, I want you to click this icon, yung Blackboard Editor. Click. Okay, now you can see the classroom. Ito po yung e-classroom na tinatawag. Makikita nyo po dito ang uh, ako. <laughs> ako po ulit yan. And I'm using the a 4 tech camera that I've shown you in the teacher training series. 
ko alam ko ba't ang itim ko dyan, but anyway. <laughs> ang default po ng position ng camera nyo ay nandito sa taas. But you can easily resize and place it to the other part of your classroom. So, just click it. Drag nyo lang po. And then, lagay nyo kung saan nyo gusto. But, usually, I put my camera here. Dito, sa taas na to. And the camera of my student under my camera. Okay? So, ayan po. Lalagay nyo po dyan. And then, you can resize it by doing this. So, saan po natin isi-set yung camera natin? Click po natin itong part na to. Dito po natin makikita yung settings ng ating mga device. So, here we can see the camera. Pag kinlik ko po yan, you will see I have other options. Ito po yung um, built-in camera ng aking um, laptop. So, kikita nyo po ang pangit. Kaya po, <laughs> mumili ako ng separate camera. Let's choose again, Full HD 1080p. Ayan, ito po yung medyo malino kong camera. And here... Choose your microphone. Choose the microphone that you're using. Alright, but for now, I'm gonna disable that because I'm using a separate microphone. Okay, and that's it for that. Now, over here, this is the most important part that I'd like to highlight in this video. So, here, over here, you will see that we have many teaching tools na sinasabi ko po sa inyo, napaka-helpful at ang gandang gamitin kapag nagde-demo at nag-online presentation. So, let's start with the first one. Ito po unang tool natin ay ang click na tool. Click. So, kapag may kailangan po kayong i-click sa inyong file, like uh, you're gonna play a video, you use the first um, icon. Ito po yung click icon. Okay? Click tool. The next one is called the select and move tool. Okay? So, from the term itself, Ibig sabihin, kapag ginamit po natin yung tool na yan, pag kinlik natin yan, we can move and select other objects like this one. Okay, ayaw niya pong mamove. Okay, like this one. Okay, select and move. Alright. The third one is your pen. Ayan, mahalaga po yan. Kaya po sinabi ko kanina sa introduction na para siyang classroom because you have your e-blackboard po yung ele electronic blackboard natin wherein we can write things on it. Alright? So, example, I'm gonna use my pen. Uh, pwede nyo pong uh, piliin yung gagamitin nyo. Ito po yung freestyle na writing. Yung una. Let's say jelly. Okay? Delete natin. Ito pong pangalawa ay straight line po. Straight line. Okay. And ito pong pangatlo ay circle. And yung pang-apat ay square or rectangle. Okay. So, ayun po yung four choices natin. Sa baba po niyan, makikita nyo may mga dots na palaki ng palaki. Ito po yung nag-i-indicate ng kung gaano po kakapal yung tinta ng pen nyo. So, let's say I'm gonna choose this one. So, makikita nyo po, no? Compared to this one, mas makapal po yung ano ba? Thickness. Kapal nga eh. Thickness nung line nitong nasa taas compared dito sa nasa baba. So, it depends on your preference. Kung ano po yung gusto nyong um, thickness nung line. Next one, we have different colors po. So, you can choose whatever color. So, you can choose whatever color that you want. But, the color also depends on your file. So, for example, yung background po ng file nyo ay white. Siyempre, hindi po tayo gagamit ng white color or ng light color, no? So, gagamit po tayo ng mga dark colors. But, if the background of your file is dark, then you have to use light colored pens. Alright, so, but for this one, you can use um, white or yellow or pink. Mga ganyang kulay po na alam mo kitang kita talaga. Next one, we have the text tool. So, aside from the pen tool, I think this is also one of the most important teaching tools that I really find helpful here in class in app. We have the text tool. So, Pwede po tayo mag-type. Hello, teachers. Welcome. Ayan, pwede po tayo mag-type saan. Next one, we have the screenshot. Screenshot tool. So, ang ganda po nito, because here, we can do a screenshot inside the classroom. For example, 
So, let's say tinapat ko po. Hindi ko po kinlik ha. Tinapat ko lang po dito sa um, scissors na icon. Sa screenshot natin. Tinapat ko lang po. So, meron po tayong three choices. So, meron po tayong three choices dito sa screenshot tool. Yung una pong choice, itong mismong screenshot. Ayan. Yung screenshot po ay screenshot sa loob ng classroom. Okay? So, let's click that. Kita nyo po, dito lang po kayo sa loob ng classroom pwede mag-screenshot. So, let's say I want to do... Okay, di ba? Meron ng picture. Ayan. Basta kung ano po yung kailangan yung screenshot within the classroom, you can use that option. Next, if I want to do a screenshot outside the e-classroom, you click the next one. Hide window when taking screenshot. Let's say, uh, gusto mong screenshot itong um, part na yan. Alright? So, I'm gonna choose the next, the second option. See? I was able to do a screenshot outside the classroom. So, kapag po may nakalimutan po kayong i-upload na picture, no, or text dito sa inyong classroom at talaga nagmamadali na po, you can simply use a screenshot tool. Okay? So, you can screenshot an image that you saw on Google. Hindi mo na kailangan i-download, i-upload. Screenshot na lang. Pwede po yan. Alright. So, go. I-try po natin from Google. Okay, ito po. Sinerge ko po candy. Ayan, candy. Now, I want to do a screenshot on that. And I will click this. Hide window when taking screenshot. Click. Okay, now you can do a screenshot of that photo. Pangit niya. Ayan ko niya. Okay, kumari madami. Yay! Okay, next. Next tool po natin ay ang delete button. So, sobrang simple lang naman po. So, kunwari, meron tayong mga objects po dyan. Or drawings. Once we click delete, once we select that, isa-isa po natin isa-select, and then, delete button. Pero, mas madali po ay control A, delete button. Ayan. So, na-clear na po ulit ang ating uh, blackboard. Next one is the pointer. So, let's say meron po tayong file. Gusto po natin na makasunod sa binabasa natin yung ating kausap. Okay. <laughs> May Chinese food. Nangagutom na po kasi ako. So, kunwari, ito, ayan, o. Oh. Ito, ang chopstick. Ayan, tinatawag natin chopstick. Ito, ito ang tinatawag nating noodles. Ang sarap ng tingnan. Ayan. Or pag text naman po, syempre. Ayan. Kunwari, ito po yung text natin. Gusto po natin na masundan tayo ng student or gusto po natin na masundan tayo nung nag a sa atin. So, ayan. We can use the pointer tool. Para siyang laser. Ganyan. Next one, we have this one. Okay, ito po ay ang chat box. Wherein you can message the student and you can message the person you are talking to inside this classroom. Okay, so let's say, um, hindi ka niya naririnig. For example, may ganong issue, may technical issue, hindi ka niya naririnig. So, paano ka makakapag-communicate sa kanya? You can message the person. Um, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ganon, kunwari. So, yan. Meron din tayong mga emoji dyan. Or, kunwari, very good yung student. Then, you send them a star. O, oh, diba? Next one. Ito po. Ang gusto ko rin pong uh, ma-highlight dito. Eh, ito, cloud disk. So, dito nyo po i-upload yung mga kailangan yung material for your online presentation or demonstration. So, I'm gonna be showing you how. So, once you click the cloud disk, ito po yung mag appear So, all you need to do is to click upload and then select the file that you need. Try natin yung PowerPoint. Okay, while waiting for the PowerPoint, open po natin itong PDF na na-upload ko na. Ayan, so makikita nyo po, ito po ay PDF file. While you can share your camera, you can also share the file. So, at ang maganda po dyan, hindi lang po kayo dito sa Blackboard makapagsusulat. Pwede rin po kayo magsulat doon sa mismong file ninyo. Like this. 
Yan, pwede nyo po siyang bilugan. Pwede po kayong mag-type. Red. Next one, itry po natin itong PowerPoint. Ooh, ginawa ko po ito. <laughs> ABC with Jollibee. Yay, ang cute ni Jollibee. So, next, ano nangyari? A, B, C, D. Yan. So, ito po yung PowerPoint. Kung gusto nyo po ng kopya nitong PowerPoint na to, just comment your email and I will send you the file. Okay? So, ayan po. Nakita nyo po na pwede po tayong mag-upload ng PDF and PowerPoint presentation dito sa ating class in. And we can also access that file and show that file to our students or to our evaluators. Okay, so that's it for all the teaching tools that you can find here in class in. And tingin ko po nakita nyo na yung difference niya dun sa Zoom and sa Skype. Kasi dito sa ating class in, mas marami po tayong teaching tools na pwedeng gamitin. Pwede tayong mag-type, pwede tayong mag-drawing, we can share screen, we can do screenshots. Marami po tayong tools, okay? So, I hope you can maximize this one. I encourage all of you to explore the app before you use it. If you want to record your entire discussion, simply press Windows plus G. And then, click this and marirecord na po yung inyong entire discussion. That's all for today, teachers. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you still have some questions, feel free to comment down below. And also, I encourage everyone to please comment any topic that you would like me to cover on my next video. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!